Hello again, and welcome back to Pioneer. So today we're at Fortress Kuzmin on Foster's Hope and the system of Vakankan. So, we're in Vakankan because, well, I mean, we finished last time at Morinad, but we're in Vakankan because, well, I was doing some thinking and I, I remembered something about, uh, frontier that I had forgotten. Well, I mean, I suppose I hadn't forgotten it because I never experienced Frontier. But I remember reading that in Frontier, when you had live cargo, your ship needed a special bit of equipment a cargo hold life support cargo bay life support and as you can see I don't have that installed so but I I had just heard it in terms of slaves right living breathing people I didn't know if live animals would be affected by the lack of uh, life support or not so I tested, I wanted to test this out. So I bought a couple tons of live animals and I undocked from the station and, and flew away from it. And shortly after I started getting these warnings, like I forget what it was exactly, but life support warning or, or cargo bay warning. And the amount of live animals I had in my cargo hold was going down by the second. So, it's pretty safe to say live animals also need uh, cargo bay life support. Now we could go ahead and buy it. I could have bought it at the uh, last system, at Morinad as well. But, yeah, you know, it's an extra ton of few usage. Uh, so, you know, I I suppose we don't really need to worry about a single ton of equipment being added to the ship. But you know, I thought about it and you know, rather than, than waste a ton of cargo space hold on equipment, well let's just go find some some nerve gas and use that instead. So we're here at the Can Can because they the can can exports nerve gas. So we got 63 tons of nerve gas here. So this could be pretty profitable. So they export it at uh, 705 credits, almost 706 credits a ton. So we'll just go ahead and buy everything they have for 45,000 credits. So now we've got 63 tons of nerve gas. Nerve gas. It's generally accepted to be a weapon of mass destructed, shunned by the military in most systems, and thus illegal in most systems. Well, it's not illegal in the Obsidian Horde. So we're going to use this to make some more money. So we're in Vacan Can. And the closest soul fed system we could go to is uh, Zabibari. But. Zabibari is one of these systems where the closest planet is almost 9 AU from the sun. And that's very, very far away. Papa Yani. So we could take them here, but it's a little far in system. I think the next closest system would probably be uh, Veranorn. Let's check. Varanorn, we need 13 tons of fuel. But Varanorn, also another big system. With the. Let's see, right there is a. Andrewski's Hope is a good 10 AU away from the sun. So that's also pretty far. S Cache. 
on the other hand, is rather close, right? We only need eight tons of fuel, two jumps, very close. And look at that, De Boer's Folly is just 0.12 AU from the sun. Morgan's base, not exactly a, a high-tech uh, starport, but it's close enough that we should be able to get there fairly quickly. So we need eight tons of fuel. So let's get our fuel and see how much we need after that if we need some more. Nope. Eight tons will do it. Only two days, too, so that's pretty nice. Okay. So we could run into a few problems. Right? Like last time, we could run into the cops. Not that uh, the cops <laughs> in the last system were particularly well armed. We could run into a honeypot at the starport. I'm not entirely sure how to get away from that. There might not be getting away from that at all. You know, we could get to S Cash and find that uh, there's not a whole lot of demand for nerve gas. You know, I think higher demand for nerve gas if it's a major import, even even as a illegal substance, probably would make the price go up. But I, either way, you know, we sold robots, and the demand didn't go down for those, so. You know, either way you slice it, we'll probably make a fair bit of money here. So we had some, let's see, where's my money? We had almost 28,000 credits. Okay, Ash Gash. Cool. Target Morgan's base. Hold on just a second. All right, let's pause this real quick. Take a look at the logs. All right, so when we landed in... Oh, it doesn't give us the money. There it is, docked at Fort Guzman on Foster's Hope. So when we started, we had 28, 285,000 credits. Now we've now got... Where is it? 239,000 credits. So, 200... 45 was it 285 if we can beat that 285,000 credits then we'll have made our money back oops hmm okay that was weird let's head over to Morgan's base actually only 0.8 AU thanks to our entry point. 0 0.08 AU, that's fairly close. 0.8 AU. I'm missing a big zero there. 0.8 AU would still be close enough. Oh, bugger. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, come on. Uh, I did this the last time, too. Okay. Uh, great, great. Man, I... am absolutely killing these approaches. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's get our rebound of shame on. Oh, man. Not horrible, but yeah, 
man, that's not great. What's wrong with me today? You know, we had a fairly easy approach, and yet I'm out here whiffing it up like a, an absolute noob. Okay. I, I suppose it could be the heat. It's definitely been very hot. Really recently. It gets hot, you get tired. I don't know. Okay. So we're not gonna make the same mistake twice today. fast. Oh man, if we hadn't messed up, this would have been a super easy approach. Morgan base is on the other side of the planet. Coming from the sun, we could have just plopped down right on top of it. yourself lemons you can only make lemonade All right we can see it there let's go ahead and turn on manual control our uh, cruise control and fly in normally at least we didn't run into any cops on the way in that could be a sign of good luck there's RZ1540 Nerodia. That's a big ship. I wonder if it's leaving or coming in. Looks like it might be leaving. We could just be getting closer to it. Yeah, it looks like it's on the way out. Either way, we just need to sell all of this uh, nerve gas. Hmm. 
going a bit fast, aren't we? <laughs> I suppose this might count as overshoot number two. I mean, we're still within three kilometers, so it's not like we have a, a huge distance to travel. So, not quite like the last video where uh, where it took three long attempts to actually get to <laughs> the space station. Okay, so docking bay number eight. Let's level out. Get to the bottom camera. Head and put down our landing gear. There's a pumpkin seed down there. And I always forget what the name of these uh, single person fighters are. Bullfin. Yeah. Okay. Come down looking right at the pumpkin seed. I like the pumpkin seed, but it's really small at the moment. Probably too small. So, we're here, right? Let's gas up, and let's take a look at four trading houses, right? Nielsen's Warehouse. Welcome to Nielsen's Warehouse, bringing the best unconventional goods to you. Nerve gas. Only eight in demand, which means we have to sell them at... Oh, wait. Oh, it's buying. No, we don't want to buy. How much does one sell for? Oh, double the price, almost. That's nice. Okay, so it's... don't be a honeypot. We sold it. Okay, let's just unload all of our. nerve gas to this guy. Thank you for buying all of my weapons of mass destruction. And we come out with 300,000 300,039 credits. Oops, wrong place. Let's see, where are we? Comms, no. There it is. Flight logs. Alright, so... We docked with 200,039 credits. We ended up with 300,039 credits. So... Selling... <laughs> selling these weapons of mass destruction has earned us 100,000 credits. And since we paid some 45,000 credits for them, that means we have earned, wow, 55,000 credits in profit. 63 tons. That is a lot of profit. That is excellent profit. Look at that. Excellent. And let's check the uh, uh, police, right? They have no business with us at the moment. So we've gotten away scot-free with this. That is a lot of money. And it was probably the easiest trade run that I've ever done. By the way, can we, can we buy robots here? Ah, oh, no, we can't. Not enough robots. 
if we could buy robots here, that would be quite, quite the trade run. So we're going to have to find somewhere to take robots back to uh, Morinad or uh, the Can Can. And then we can bring back more weapons of mass destruction. Now, I think slaves are also legal in uh, the Obsidian Horde, yeah. But I'll be honest, I'm not particularly fond of dealing with slaves. I, no, we're not going to do that. We need the, uh, the cargo bay life support system anyways. And you know, weapons of mass destruction, nerve gas, works just as well. So we look for a place we'll, that will export some more robots for us, and then we'll have to find somewhere with more nerve gas, because we did buy all of the CanCan's nerve gas. But that's a lot of money. So that's pretty nice. That is smuggling. <laughs> you know, I think I think smuggling might be the right career choice at this point in time. You know, the there's not really a whole lot of uh, stock for these high-priced commodities, but since demand doesn't go down when you smuggle them into a a system you can earn a whole lot. Wow, I didn't I didn't expect the the single price to be double the market price. That was good. That was excellent. It might not be as um, profitable as some of these news instances. Oh look at this, there's a new news instance here. Company threatened continual survival of the Ionian system. So this, we could take air compressors. We have air processors, and not a whole lot of air processors, but, you know, these usually pay three times more. I don't want to say usually say, usually pay, but, you know, where smuggling was pretty much twice the price, these would go even higher for three times or more, I think, so. No, they could still work. This could. This is probably still the best way to make money. But smuggling, smuggling is pretty good too. We could buy one, right? Look at that. We'd have to buy it for double the price too. So that's bad. Slaves. Slaves are big profits. But. Yeah, we'll leave the slaves to somebody uh, a little less scrupulous than me. Not that, not that smuggling weapons of mass destructive is particularly scrupulous. 63 tons of them, to, to be precise. But, <laughs> whatever, whatever, you know, we made some money. And with that, I think we'll call it a day. Right, we made some good money, and... Big mistakes too. <sighs> Overshot the planet again. Ah well. But anyways, right? That'll be it for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all later. Goodbye.